Guys, I finally made it across. Holy shit. I was stuck over there forever. I was stuck over there. Oh my god. I finally made it across. Literally, I rage quit that game, um, that recording session. Um, um, and as soon as I rage quit it, I tried it like twice more and I figured it out. It was literally the easiest thing, but... Anything else I need to get around here? Nope. Alright, so I gotta try this detour. Uh-oh. Locate the source of the distress. What the hell are there? Ah, I see. I got a wall run. Okay. Great. More parkour. Oh, that's a thin wall. Alright. So, looks like I'll have to go over there. And up here. Alright, sweet. And then I'll land right there. Nice. Oh god. Ah oh, shit. Oh, I thought I I thought I just fell off. And then I got up here. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. So I got these two things. Now I'm just gonna slide down here. And get that. What is that purple light? That looks like it's something important. Uh, new audio log. Hi, Violet. Alright. So I never did a proper intro. What's up, guys? Crazy HD here. Today I'm bringing you guys Recore episode number four. Stop talking! I'm talking. So anyway, at record episode number seven, I took like a three day break off of this game, trying to calm myself down because I was pretty angry after I spent three whole episodes doing parkour. <sighs> so, yeah, let's see, is there a way I can get up here? No, does not look like it. And that looks like a hell of a long way down. Oh, another. Is that all? Is this all I'm gonna face again? Level up, yay! These guys don't even drop anything good. I'll kill him real quick. Come on, get back here! Come on, get ready to die!
guys, the distress signal's over here. Looks like we might finally be done with the parkour. I finally figured out. Like, if, if, if you're having trouble making it across like that, all you gotta do is jump up, then once you start falling, jump again, and then you dash. I finally figured that out. It's really, really simple. And I made it much harder than it had to be. What the heck is this? Oh, cool. The signal is just up ahead. Hang on. It's another crawler. Where the hell? All right, we got cutscenes. Sorry if you guys hear that fan. It's kind of inevitable in my room top. I activated my beacon five days ago. Your canine unit took a long time to find me. Is he all right? Mac? He's fine. He hasn't been affected by whatever's making the other bots go crazy. This whole planet's gone crazy. <sighs> Kai Brett, core maintenance. Jewel Adams, atmospherics. I've been trying to scavenge parts to repair my leg, but we haven't been able to lower the big core bots close to our crawler. I can't move fast enough to hunt him down. And Seth? He's too scared to go out on his own. Well, if you want, Mac and I can find the things you need. Really? That'd be great. Here, take this. You'll need it more than me. I think that's the yellow mod. I guess it's, I guess I'll the parts for my leg inside the crawl. I'll send it to you over the radio. Okay. Sure. And Jewel? I'm glad I'm not alone out here. Me too. Blue firing mode, yeah. I hear you, Kai. Go ahead. The parts I need should be in a nearby Corbot hive. I'll mark it on the map for you. Okay, we're on our way. Where the hell? All right. So we got blue and we got red. We just need yellow to be complete. were meant to be temporary habitats. Once all the crews were awake, they were supposed to move into residential towers and other buildings closer to their work areas. Hey, Kai, we're here. Great. The parts I need can only be found on hybrid spiders. Green ones. Sounds easy enough. Well, the problem is these guys don't like sunlight. So you'll have to search for them under the sand and dig them up. We got this. Right, Mac?
Ah, shit, I need to fully kill him. I couldn't extract it. I didn't think of that. If you guys can't tell on my screen, there's these little, like, they look wet, kind of. That's where the, that's where I'm searching. Please be green guy. Alright. Yes. Alright. That one part, wow. Design the blue, yellow, and red cores personalities to suit a particular set of tasks. The hybrid cores were, by definition, more flexible. I hoped, better suited to unexpected changes in mission parameters. These things are creepy looking. Oh, he's gonna let me in, yay! This is gonna turn into a romance, I guarantee it. This is perfect, Jewel. Thanks. Sorry. It's all right. Never seen a human with legs like this, huh? I'm one of the lucky ones. They were able to amputate before the infection spread. Dust devil. Class three outbreak. Hit Chicago first. Spread from there. We evacuated to one of the safe zones. Not fast enough. How about you? East or West Coast? West. Southern sector. Well, I heard that got bad. You lose anyone close? My mom. Now I'm sorry. It's all right. My dad and I, we looked after each other. We were going to come to Far Eden together, but he had to leave Earth on a different ship. He must be up in orbit. Sleep with all the others. Waiting for the terraforming to finish. Hey, Seth. Can you dial it up a little? Here. This might help. Where did you find that core? I've actually found more than one. But I don't know what they are. They're called prismatic cores. Top secret mandate. I've only ever heard rumors about them. They fix the pylon, and they work on other Far Eden systems, too. If we find enough of them, maybe we can get the terraforming back on track. Or maybe do a whole lot more. I don't know for sure. But the core foundry might have the answers we need. I'll get my legs working and meet you there. In the meantime, Seth, you go with Jewel. Don't worry. You're safe with us. Right, Mac? They seem like they're going to be best friends.
I've heard that this game is fairly short. I'm not sure though. I'm gonna look it up while this is loading. Of course, the Corbot Seth has joined your crew. Recours only 10 hours. Alright. So, we're going to read logs for the rest of this episode. Alright, V1 OLT. While the human colonists slept, the Corbot Victor, says Victor, imposed this terrible will on Fari, and some of the Corbots resisted, but when would their noble revolutionary war succeed? Oh, that's something we can't even understand. Alright, Rogue Corbots. Pathfinder. A yellow canine built for long range multi day sur survey missions, able to, able to survive Category 3 storms when its shields are fully powered. Lethal ability is Charge Shield. Charge Shield is a defensive lethal ability that protects it, projects invulnerable shields around a Corbot. Deflecting all projectiles when the charge shields expire, they emit an expanding dome of damage. Move out of the way of the shields to avoid damage and destabilization. Juggler, the, or, this orange spider is an elite demolitions unit able to. I can't read it, it's still a morning for me. Able to operate on highly and unstable surfaces, including structures or, ter or terrain already destabilized by previous explosions. Lethal ability is a barrage and flame rush. Barrage is an offensive lethal ability where the spider launches several homing shots, hits can hits deal damage and apply with the destabilized effect. Misses create an, a field that can slow and destabilize. While barrage effects can be avoided by dash, its projectiles can also be sh targeted and shot out of the air. Flame Rush is an offensive lethal ability where Spider Corbot quickly bursts towards the target and smashes through it. The attack leaves behind a flaming field that, if touched, will set opponents ablaze. Flame Rush homes onto its target, making it impossible to avoid without dashing. Argus Green Spiders are upgraded sappers that can launch explosive charges and shoot down malfunctioning projectiles to avoid unintended damage. Lethal abilities Barrage and Laser Sweep. Barrage is an offensive lethal ability where the spider launches several homing shots, hits deal damage, and apply destabilized effect. Misses create a field that can slow and destabilize. While barrage can be avoided by dash, its project projectiles can also be targeted and shot out of the air. Laser sweep is a defensive lethal ability where the spider fires a beam that sweeps across its target area. The beam will hit any enemy in its path and will not stop until it reaches the end of its arc. Laser sweep patterns become more complex based on the quality of the core triggering this sweep. Alright. And then Joel's note. So it looks like we're going to have a note on Seth, probably. Spider core bots. Spider core bots are equipped with electrically conductive legs, which allow them to connect their, to their magnetic transport rails found in and around Far Eden. Tap X when near a transport rail to connect your extractor to an. Uh, an Spider, Corbot, and travel with the spider as it navigates the rails. Seth, the yellow core with personality de designation SE7H, has been assigned to core technician Kai Bren. While Seth's cautious, nervous personality may be a liability in some situations, it makes him an ideal assistant for Bren's exacting low margin of error work. And we got something else. Swapping Corbots. Yeah, that's just telling you how to do it, I think. Kai Bren, originally assigned to the Corbot Maintenance de Depot in Sector 331. Core technician Kai Bren is now scheduled to move to the Core Foundry construction site in preparation for new duties in Shift 5 Foxtrot. 
Run's expertise and attention to detail should help foundry crews correct recent anomalies in the quality of newly forged cores, most likely associated with unexpected high production levels under the supervision of Corbot Victor. This personal reassignment does not require the approval of Far Asian project leader Julius Roldan. We got one more. Prismatic cores. All information regarding prismatic cores is classified by order of mandate government, governing council. Under no circumstances should prismatic cores be removed from the prime core or from the Far Eden Tower. Alright. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, be nice, and cool. As always, guys, I'm Crazy HD. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the ride. See you guys later.